What's good, Josh? Your boy A1 from Stars Game. We out here making Madden moves. Um, I just got my tooth pulled, man. So my bad if my voice doesn't sound too crisp. Chris, <laughs> I'm trying to do my best, man. I'm trying to do my best, so it's it's tough. Uh, but I'm gonna do something that I haven't done in a while, and that's breaking down the um, pistol playbook in Madden 20. Um, so off top, if you're gonna run pistol, you are to come out with a running quarterback. Do not come out with a stationary quarterback that cannot run. Come out with a Lamar Jackson. Come out with Lamar Jackson. No, come out with Lamar Jackson. That's it. You're going to come out pistol. Come out with Lamar Jackson. Otherwise, you're going to have some difficulties running this offense. Um, so off top, uh, we're going to run the pistol strong slot mini scheme. Uh, I'm going to show you guys some little things I like to do. Um, something you guys should pay attention to when you first call play you look at the scheme, look how the, the what's it called, the audibles we have set up. Uh, we're going to change wide receiver smash into, um, where's this at? Where's it at? Where's it at? PA power is the reason for that. So, oh, we have PA power in there. My bad. Uh, we can just throw in there. We go PA, PA, HP power. Now we have PA power, and then zone's going to be your base play. So you want to come out all the time when you come out pistol strong shot, and I'm going to pistol strong slot. I have some other stuff too in there that I can throw in there too as well. But when you're coming out in the pistol strong slot formation, you want to come out in HB zone, okay? And then we'll go. We will probably get a lot of uh, probably a four three out of this so round four three. Okay, so pistol strong slot. Um, this is what it looks like. Twenty one personnel, two running backs, one tight end, two receivers. Uh, you just want the basic inside zone. Basic zone call, you know, you call it. Pretty good blocking on it. Uh, we're going to go through these plays pretty fluidly so you guys can see an idea of what we're talking about. And it's not too much. It's not too little. So HP zone is the main thing you want to call out. So if you see it, you want to run it, okay? So the next thing you want to make pay attention to is you want to pay attention to uh, PA boot left, okay? Now, here's the thing about PA boot left. It's going to be the same exact concept in the backfield as you would see for... Um, lead read option because that fullback still coming across so you still want that still play action that's still stuff that's going on from the back end you still want that distracting the defense in the passing play on the run play so we'll do so fullback leader read option first and once you're reading that front side uh what's it called deep the end where the r is at okay he stays so we hand it off and you just go literally you just hit that hole straight you don't go left don't go right you get the ball and you go straight. Uh, that's what it is. FB lead, same thing. Oh, this time he, he doesn't keep it. Um, hand it off. Um, I mean, you go take it off with the quarterback. We'll do it one more time. See if we can get a better look out of that. He comes down like that. Smooth handoff. You guys see how it is. Let's check the replay real quick. And we're going to be really crisp with this mini scheme so you guys can see it. This one's real fluid. So we're gonna do a, we're gonna do a bunch of them actually. So we're reading this, we're reading this, we're reading this. Okay, so he's picking up that tackle is weird. It's a weird block scheme by a tackle. He has to come down um, and block that guy. That DN's coming across. We're letting him go, and then the the fullback's coming down the line of scrimmage to make that block to kick out that defensive end. But obviously he comes down, and then we do our thing. So it's not that bad. Now, here's the other twist. Now, the other thing you want to do is PA uh, boot slot. Same exact action in the backfield, but look at the difference now. Make sure you hit that rollout, please. So, instead of having... And you can put running backs there, too, as well. So, instead of having, like, a, um, a fullback there, you can put a running back there if you know you're going to pass it. Uh, but same exact play action look with the uh, with the back movement in the back. But it looks like he's coming down a block, but he's actually obviously coming down. Make sure you hit those one or the I I suggest that you're hitting these two one or two guys, man. When you're running this, you're not trying to really hit downfield unless it's open. Then that's like the only time. <laughs> Lamar just freaky, so he can do that. That's why I like running Lamar Jackson. But you want to make sure you're hitting that fullback or your tight end. We'll do it one more time real crisp so you guys can see it. A, we're going to hit A immediately. 
he would get yards downfield. The play action is a lot better job this year versus last year. So this can be effective if you know how to use it the right way. Okay, the next thing you want to do is you want to have HP power. Here's a key component of HP power. Make sure you guys call a double team down on that nose guard. So they're coming downhill and you have guys coming across. So as you can see, you have your left guards pulling. You have your right guard and your center coming down that D tackle. And everybody else will be coming down. You guys got blockers kicking out. And yes, this is all Madden. This is just how good the pistol is that people don't know about because they never use it. Same thing, we're going to run HP power. We're going to double down that nose guard. And, you know, you'll get stopped occasionally. Like, it's not, like, you'll get stopped. You got one yard, but, I mean, you will get stopped. Right here, I would recommend double team because of the other side overloaded. But this would be a perfect opportunity for the mini scheme. And this is just a smart call. It's not worth time running through the scheme for the video, but this is a smart call right here. You see the leverage on the right side. You can't run power to the right side, so call an audible. Call an audible. We should have had the ball off right there. Um, he didn't hand the ball off. It's all good. But when you see stuff like that, call audible. Right here is a perfect out of time. Run power. Two, three yards. That's okay. Um, the last play in the mini scheme is uh, PA power O. Same exact play action front. But now it's just like, okay, now you have the block, the running back stepping out. Uh, he's going to be taking on the flat. You can put a faster guy there at fullback so he can attack the flat a little harder than you're looking at your tight end. And that's not open. You got a drag coming backside. Understand the low route combinations. Right there, we could have got the ball a little bit faster, but we didn't. And again, excuse me for my language. I just got my two pulls so I can like hardly talk, literally. So play action pass again. Oops, that was in my bad. I like getting rid of that ball, honestly. I really do. Same thing. Same thing. And if that's not open, hit the drag. Um, you also have a stop, too, coming in the backside. That's ideal. Right there is ideal. Hitting that tight end is ideal. That's what you want to do. Okay, that's ideal. So again, one more time. Same play action read. You can run this pistol offense and be successful. It's just like, do you have the patience? Do you want to run it? And then are you good with Lamar Jackson? You can't run it that way. So again, you have HP zone that you want to come out and run in. Okay, so just straight up handoff. Uh, again, the second thing you have... Um, you have the lead read option, so you're reading backside. Right here, you would just keep it Lamar because there's no one to read. The next thing you have is the uh, the play action bootleg roll, where you have the same exact read type of look with the fullback coming across face. And you want to expect to either hit that fullback or that tight end. He did a good job right there, but let's execute it because I do want to execute this thing on perfection before I get up out of here. Same thing, play action. Just get down to your fullback and have a run. You know what I mean? That's easy money right there. No one's expecting that type of stuff. Next thing you have is uh, HP power. Again, make a smart call. Make a smart call. You have that power to do so. Look at the left side, of the, right side of the field. It's kind of like there's a lot of people over there, okay? You can motion someone. So we'll motion somebody so we can hit it. Motion somebody over there. Now we have double guys. Get these guys spread out. Call a double on this guy. Have him kick out. You know what I mean? Like, being able to read, like, who do I double, who do I don't double is super important running these type of offenses, okay? Super important. You saw we double teamed that left side guy because the far side brought a uh, receiver over to help out blocking. That type of stuff is going to help you be successful in the pistol offense. Okay, next thing you, we have is the uh, PA power O, last one. Ideal situation, you want to make sure you hit that tight end A. That's ideal. And that's the pistol, that's the, um, I mean, that's the offense, man. Like, again, I appreciate you guys tuning this, the pistol strong slot uh, mini scheme inside the pistol uh, playbook at 920. 
I'm going to break down the pistol offense quite a bit, so I'm going to go through a couple of these different formations. Uh, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Uh, again, I'm sorry about my language, man. My man, my mouth is sore right now. But our subscribers, we're jumping. I think we already got to like 320 so far by the month. Let's try to get to 400 by the end of the month. I appreciate you guys for tuning in, man. Your boy A1 is out. Stay on the lookout for some more uh, tips and stuff.